Hello everyone, I'm Rai, and welcome back to Relic Hunter Zero. Now, as you can see, I unlocked another character, and I also kind of better understand how the stage system works in this game. Now, well, first of all, let's armor up before we go fight the Duke and Commander, because uh, that sassy Sally kicked the living tire out of me the last time we fought. Not gonna happen this time, no sir. Also got a couple of relics to boot. Oh, I can break this stuff? <laughs> Alright, well that's kind of entertaining. Anyway, I incorrectly thought that these stages worked like individual levels, like, and, and, and they do, but, okay, here's what I'm getting at. I thought stage one was like, you know, a bunch of different stages, and the Duke and Commander was the boss of that one, and then stage two had a different boss. I wasn't paying attention to the numbering system before, so each stage is its own stage, and then stage four is the Duke and Commander. I hope I'm explaining that well. Point is, I, did, I wasn't quite clear on how that worked. I am now. As you can see, though, I haven't unlocked stage four with the sweet, sweet boonties yet, so we're gonna have to work on that. Literally start at stage three, which is okay, because that just gives me more time to find more relics and, well, armor up before I gotta go fight the Duke and Commander. And we also got some relics to help us out with that, too. So, first of all, the pineapple pudding, because that gives us extra health, uh, extra damage, which I never said I wanted you. You're an extra shield? Well, okay, fine. And extra... What the heck? I said I want extra damage. There we go. Jeez. Stamina regeneration would be fun too, but no, I think extra shield, extra health, extra damage. Yeah, it should work just fine. Ah, I would like a sniper rifle, but make do with what you got. So, uh, stage three or stage two? Ah, we'll go with stage three. Sticking with red because uh, red's my bro. He gets the job done. He don't mess around. Those flying guys, on the other hand, they mess around every day of the week. And honestly, probably my least favorite enemy in this game so far. If only because I gotta wait till they land. Come on. It's kind of annoying. I mean, everything else I can basically chew through like they're nothing. These guys, there's an extra hurdle only because they like to be airborne. Land already, please. There we go. See, was that so hard? All I needed you to do was land on the ground, and then it's over. I take you down, my dogs chew you to pieces, I collect the bounties, everybody wins. Except you, because you gotta lose. Because if I do, then I gotta start the level over again, and that's not cool. Also found out that there is endless mode, which I haven't tried out yet, but after the Duke and Commander has been bested, for your viewing pleasure, of course, we're gonna find out exactly what that is. Oh, there's more of these guys than I thought. More turtle dudes. See, I know they're called dukins, but once again, these guys aren't really ducks. They're turtles, and these aren't ducks either. They're, okay, that guy's a duck. These guys are winged commies, I guess. Oh well. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna help in the fight at all, Horseman Joe. No, sir, not even a little. I, I don't buy it for a second. Come on, I need somebody to throw a grenade at. Give me a target. That'll do. Nah, yeah, throw two grenades. Have some fun. Double your pleasure, double your fun. It's the doctor that'll come out and chew your face. Bam! Speaking of which, hey, no, 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 don't take off on me. <laughs> this is a no-fly zone, friend. Running out of bad puns to dish out. Give me time. I'm a little tired. Didn't exactly got a whole lot of sleep last night, so. My comedic noodle isn't at full capacity. Rest assured, my ass kickery engine is working just fine. My god, look at all these dogs. You know, I'm looking forward to trying out the other characters, seeing what they got going on, but it's hard to beat Red. Pinky still has a special place in my heart, but man, between Red's exploding Pokeballs of dog death and the fact that he rides on a dog that eats things too, hard to beat. Hmm, I actually met the fight after this one. I, I don't think you did. Okay, no. Okay, wait, I gotta... Okay. No, wait. All right. Can I... I don't want the crude pistol, but I'm not sure there's a way to... Oh, man, my dogs are actually a problem now. Okay, come on. Hurt, 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 hurt. All right, can I... No. Damn it. Can I not get out of the level? Oh, there we go. Man, I thought I was trapped there by my own gun. That would have been an inconvenience. How can I rightly kill the Duke and Commander if I'm blocked, ironically, by a weapon I'd use to kill him? 
Were you part of the wall there? I feel like you're part of the wall. Let me give the dogs a break. Try to save some of these grenades. Also, this high mag gun is beastly. I mean, red's good with small arms and submachine guns. And this thing's just got a wicked huge clip, fires fast, does good damage. What is not to love, I tell ya? There's nothing. There's nothing not to love. It is a boss gun. I love it. Plasma pistol I like too, but uh, uh, ideally I'd like to have the sniper rifle, which I need to unlock. Haven't done that yet, but you know, good things take time. Great things happen all at once. I feel like I'm missing some enemies up there. Who did I miss? Come on. Me and my doggies are eager to get to the next level and kill your boss. Nothing personal. It's just business. Because, again, near as I can tell, we were going to steal the relics first. And then you guys kind of came along and beat us to the punch. So, you know, we're not exactly keen on that. Ooh, there's the sniper rifle. That's what I wanted. Perfect. All right. Man, you know what? Sometimes exactly what you need is exactly where it should be. It's kind of nice when things work out that way. And we're at full ammo with this, too. That is just ideal. Go get them, doggies. Come on. But don't be shy. They're only pointing lasers at you. It's all good. It's all good. There you go. That's how you do it. Give them some gusto. A couple bullets to the face wouldn't hurt either. Hey, you know what? You know what? Go with your feeling. Whatever you think is the best course of action, I trust the dogs to do what they need to do. I feel like they got a pretty good sense of direction. At the very least, you know what? They understand what life's all about. Sometimes you got to raid an asteroid for precious relics. Sometimes you got to unleash a cage full of dogs to kill your enemies because that's the only option. If you don't want to get your hands dirty yourself, which I mean, you know, good help is so hard to find. Why not take advantage of it when you do? Okay, can we not have another gun portal situation here? Good. Oh, we're getting closer. Oh, speaking of which. A pathway open and dogs to boot. Is there anything better? <laughs> I think there is. Getting more sweet bounties that I can use to get more sweet artifacts. Speaking of which, I thought there was an opportunity to collect some artifacts here, and I have yet to be given an opportunity to go a digging. So I'm kind of feeling a little ripped off at this point. I haven't lost any health yet, though, so that's got to count for something, right? Which is ideal, because, I mean, I am trying to save as much as I can for when I do eventually fight the Duke and Commander, because, I mean... He dishes out his fair amount of pain, but the real problem, as uh, I unfortunately found out last time, is uh, the minions. He is pretty liberal with uh, using his cronies to do his dirty work. And, I mean, who am I to complain about that? I, I use dogs. He uses duck, turtle, people. I use dogs. To each their own. Seriously, I haven't been given an opportunity to look for any artifacts this entire level. Eh, might as well use that, because, I mean, you know, bombs are here. If you got it, flaunt it. That's what I say. Oh, boy. Ooh, okay. Actually throwing out some pain there. I gotta say, the damage bonus is really helping, particularly with the, like, speed and the mag size of the high mag. It just makes it so much easier to chew through these guys. I did find out that Red does have one disadvantage, although... I gotta say, as disadvantages go, it's not exactly a detrimental one. He gets less bounty than everybody else, but, I mean, honestly, I really haven't noticed that as a problem. Like, Pinky's was, I believe, that she had, I think her speed was a little bit lower. Maybe there was a stamina thing as well, and I mean, her bread and butter was uh, melee and pistols, so that kind of limited her in terms of weapon selection, and, uh, not sure if I'm getting his name right, but Boo, you, bleh. Come back. His whole thing is that, you know, he gets double grenades, but he's not good with any guns, period. So, I mean, different play styles, but see, here's the thing. Red's good with SMGs and small weapons. Sniper rifle's not exactly his main deal, but he's decent enough with it that I can round off some shots. And with the extra damage, I mean, the sniper rifle's a one-shot kill to begin with. It's just even better for people who have shields. And his only drawback, as far as I can see, I mean, yeah, some of his stats aren't as high as everybody else's, but I mean, that's true of any character, right? Some of them have better attributes than others. Some are faster, some have better health. You know what I'm getting at. But his only real drawback is that he doesn't get a lot of bounty. So here this kind of sucks because, I mean, you know what? 
yeah, if I was playing somebody else, I could probably afford that or unlock some more weapons. I might be able to do all three. There might probably a character out there who gets like double the bounty or triple the bounty or something like that. But I mean, that's a fair trade, I think. I mean, if look, if less money means I get to summon demon dogs, I'm good with that. I'm totally good with that. Especially when I'm about to fight a Dukin commander. Yeah. Yeah, I want as many demon dogs as I can muster because let me tell you my strategy, folks. It's got a little bit of this, it's got a little bit of that, and it's got a whole lot of these guys just spamming the demon dogs because why be shy at this point? I mean, why stand on ceremony, I say? There's no reason. That's just it. There is no good god dang reason, and I'm hoping... Okay, that need to be reloaded. That was my bad. But... I can take down this thing fast enough. I can just let my demon dogs do my dirty work. Look at that. I haven't even lost any health yet. This is going really well so far. Oh, wow. The shield's already up again. This is great. Send a little explosive exclamation mark. Why? Because I do declare my demon dogs are doing a stand-up job of kicking the tail out of the Duke and Commander. Okay, now these guys are starting to get a little feisty. Gotta find that shield, though, which I haven't been able to do yet. Oh, there it is. Follow the Blue Line Railroad. Okay, now they're starting to get a little antsy. That kind of hurt. Probably gonna need to find some grenades soon, too. Wow, look at him, though. His health is already being shredded. Okay, so we're in a good spot right now. I like this. This is going significantly better than the last time, I gotta say. Does he regenerate? That's annoying. Oh, okay, yeah, the, the heavy ammo shots, they, they they do their... They <laughs> they come as advertised. All right, let's, uh, let's get through here. See if we can find something a little bit more in my speed. All right. Okay, I kind of want the health, actually. Can we... There we go. That's what I wanted. Yeah, a bit of an issue sometimes when, like, things are stacked that way because then I end up switching guns instead of actually getting what I want. But, you know, you make do. I think I might be out of luck on my demon dogs now. Okay, now where's the next shield generator? Ah, oh, there it is. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, all right, all right. You know what? Rome wasn't built in the day. If this takes a little longer than usual, that's fine. I'm in no rush. Hey, here, try this. Okay, no, we're going for speed. Speed and accuracy. Oh boy, okay, I gotta watch myself here. This is getting kind of dicey. I'm starting to get deja vu when the Duke and Commander freaking aced me the last time. Let me tell you something. I know that like in, in, in other games, a la, you know, Undertale, I died more than once. Let me tell you what's not gonna happen here. Let me tell you what is not going to have a repeat scenario. I'm not losing to the Duke and Commander twice. That is a promise. I can guarantee you that much. I've learned my lesson, I'm minding my P's and Q's, and I'll be damned if I'm gonna lose to a Duke and Commander twice. Look at him, his health is so freaking low. These rockets aren't anything to sneeze at though, I hope they don't. See, you know what, they're homing, but they're not exactly accurate, so I'm okay with that. Let some exclamation marks do the dirty work for me. Did that hit him? Oh, he's walking around, isn't he? Yeah, he's not hanging around near his egg anymore. Hmm, this could be a problem. Oh boy, there he is. We found him. Maybe that exclamation mark will find him too. Not so much. Okay, that one will though. <laughs> okay. You know. Ah. All right. Got to be careful. Got to watch it. Again, this is kind of getting dicey. I feel like he's getting desperate because I'm not 100% sure, but it kind of seems like he's coming after me. I don't know if the AI is set that way. I guess we're going to. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I thought you were the Duke and Commander for a second. Now you're not a Duke and Commander. You're just a, just a you're just a plain old duck. All right. Take out a couple of his cronies. Make some mad bank. Oh God. Okay. I'm not sure which is which here. They're all using heavy weapons, so it's a little difficult to tell the Duke and Commander shots apart from the regular guys. Shields back up. All right. Time to go Duke and Commander hunting. Where is this guy? Gotta be around here somewhere. There's one more. I gotta imagine that's him. Yeah, that's him. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at that. What did I tell you? This guy ain't a Duke and Commander. He ain't the king. 
He don't own the throne. He is a pretender. A rank amateur. Wait, can I take his gun? Ooh! Man, and there's nothing to kill with this. And you know what? It would be a shame if I didn't at least fire it off. A few celebratory rounds. Look at that. Aw, oh, man. I hope I can buy that gun. That's sweet. It's even called a BFG. That's taking me back to Doom. Hey! Look at all the characters ganging up on him. Ooh, a couple I haven't unlocked yet. Yeah, I see Jimmy. I see uh, Pinky. I don't see Red in there anywhere. Oh, okay. Huh. Where's Red? Hey! I did all the work. Come on. All right, well, the adventure has ended, but other worlds await you. Endless mode is now available. Well, that's pretty friggin' awesome, I think. How about that? All right, well, <laughs> you know what? It was short, but it was sweet. Definitely one of those games that does not overstay its welcome. It's got a really nice challenge curve to it. It's not insanely difficult, but if you don't manage your health and your shields and your ammunition properly, you can find yourself in some sticky situations. But man, this is a great game, and once again, free. So, I mean, you should absolutely pick up Relic Hunter Zero. It's so much fun on Steam. It doesn't cost you anything. And I unlocked Endless Mode. So, obviously, you know what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to try out Endless Mode next time. But it's going to have to wait until the next episode. So, I'm going to give myself a pat on the back. Beat the Duke and Commander. Unlocked Endless Mode. Maybe I even unlocked a new character to boot. Or maybe I have the money to unlock a new character. Hmm. Guess I'll have to wait and see. But until next time. Time? Time. I can speak English well. <laughs> until next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you do, feel free to share it around. Leave some comments if you have some suggestions. Or, hey, maybe some tips. I'm open to those as well. But either way, until next time, my name's Rye. You guys take care of yourselves.